Welcome to this episode. Today Kate learns about innovation and collaboration to grow her young business. Let's see how. Kate had supplied cookies to more supermarkets around and at the end of the year she had saved up a lot. Mom, I have saved up a pretty good amount from my business. I am ready to expand my business outside of your kitchen. That is good. Do you have any plans on how you want to expand? How about I get my own shop? That is a good idea, but at this stage, your business is still a startup business and you will need to think outside the box to create additional improvements. What does it mean to think outside the box? Thinking outside the box means innovation. Innovation? Yes, innovation. Innovation is the introduction of something new which leads to an increase in value for your customers. But I already have many customers. Yes, but the world is constantly changing and for businesses to remain in profit, they need to be innovative, look for something new to add and keep improving. Mom, I will need to think very well about this and get back to you. Sure, take your time because it requires deep thinking and research. Kate goes to do her research. Mom, Mom, I have thought deeply and done some research about new things I can add to my cookie business. Okay, I will love to hear it. How about I add smoothies to my business? because customers will want to have a drink while eating my cookies. Now that is a good innovation. Another good way to be innovative is collaboration with other businesses. Hmm, collaboration? Collaboration is the process of two or more people, or businesses working together to achieve a goal. How will this help my business? It creates awareness for your company. When a small company collaborates with a big popular company, more people get to know the small company, and with that, they also become popular too. Wow, this means I can collaborate with the big popular restaurant outside the estate. Yes, you can collaborate with them to solve customers' needs. For example, customers will want to buy cookies and smoothies to go along with their food. Oh, that is true. Yes, just like we have Domino's Pizza and Cold Stone Ice Cream together. I know you want to be the one-stop shop for your customers, but you can't offer all the services they need. Okay, mom. Thank you. We have come to the end of this episode. Up next Kate learns about the psychology of wealth. This will be so interesting. Let's jump right in.